for what value or values of p does this equation x squared plus x over p plus 1 equal to 0 have equal roots. Now this is an image that I have googled. So this is this is a quadratic equation and, uh, and we know that a quadratic equation uh, becomes a parabola. Okay, so this parabola, uh, this parabola, uh, so let me use this pen. So this parabola has got only one root. That means it is intersecting the x-axis at only one point, which is two. So here, uh, the asking is, what's the value of p, or which are the values of p, for which this quadratic equation will have only one root? That means there's only one value of x. Or when does this quadratic equation become zero? Or for which value of p, or values of p, uh, would this equation become zero? And this is this parabola is becoming zero when x is equal to two. So equal roots equal roots implies uh, your determinant which is b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Now where did I get this from? So this has uh, this I have got from this quadratic equation which is x is equal to this is called the quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a, 4ac over 2a. Now just think logically, when would this become? This, if a, b, c are distinct numbers, you can say this will end up with either two roots, one root, or no root. Now think logically, if this becomes zero, this b squared minus 4ac, which is also called determinant or delta, if this becomes zero, you can understand x would only be minus b over 2a. And that's why I took, I made the determinant equal to zero. Okay, and so now we have to find what is a, b, and c. So our a, a is 1, b is, b is 1 over p, b is 1 over p and c is equal to 1. So putting this in this equation, I can say 1 over 1 over p the whole squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 is equal to 0. So I can say 1 over p squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So 1 minus p squared minus 4 equal to 0. So making this the subject, I can say 1 minus 1 over p squared equal to 4. Now, making p the subject, if you make p the subject, can I say this implies 1 over 4 is equal to p squared? Which means, or this implies p is plus or minus 1 half. So p has to be or p, if, when p is one plus or minus one half, this will become a perfect square. So let us check whether the answer that we got is right or wrong. So if you put x, sorry, p as half, this equation will become x squared plus x over, uh, let us put first half, so this is half plus one equal to zero. So simplifying this, this will become x squared plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Morning. Okay, if we put half, negative half back in this equation, we will get um, x squared plus x divided by negative half plus 1 equal to 0. So dividing by negative half is same as multiplying by negative 2. So this simplifies to x squared minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So just to confirm whether our answer is right, now this these are the two possible answers. Uh, 
that uh, it's x squared plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 and x squared minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now both of them are perfect square and if you factorize them you'll get only one root.